Little girl is fighting for her life at Memorial Hospital in Savannah, battling an aggressive form of cancer. Her mom and dad out of work as they stay by her side. Our Jessica Batista has their story. They went from having a healthy, normal little girl to a little girl that got sick so quickly. Four-year-old Kensley O'Berry was like a lot of girls her age. She loved to play outside, was described as outgoing, and always had a smile on her face. You don't meet no strangers. Every time somebody meets her, it's the instant connection with them. She's always smiling. Always smiling. But that all changed three months ago when she woke up one day in pain from a sore neck. Yes, and she couldn't turn her neck no, and we thought maybe she had slipped wrong. But they sent us home and told her that she had a urinary tract infection. And a month later, when we went back to the hospital for her not being able to eat and all, they told us that she was, had cancer. Tensley was transferred to Memorial in Savannah. Transported her out to Savannah. They ran tests there. Um, within a few days, those tests came back to show that she had stage four neuroblastoma, and um, they immediately began treatment. According to the American Cancer Society, neuroblastoma starts when cells in the body begin to grow out of control and crowd out normal cells. She's currently in Savannah. Uh, PICU on a ventilator. Kensley has been at Memorial for more than a month and due to COVID restrictions, only her parents can visit. I've been having to go down there and see them in the parking lot and do Kensley on video chat. <laughs> right now, neither of Kensley's parents can work while they drive back and forth to care for her and her older brother. The both parents are out of work right now. Their household bills do not stop. A family friend has set up a GoFundMe to help the family. We need to share awareness about Kensley and let our community know that uh, this family is here and they need help. Reporting in Savannah, Jessica Batista, WJCL 22 News. Jessica, thank you. If you would like to help, just head to our website, wjcl.com, and click on this story.